ni Suleiman Yeri na hizi ni taarifa za yanaojiri. Tukianza na taarifa ya Tanzania ni kwamba idadi ya watu waliokufa kwenye ajali ya barabara eneo la Naivasha imeongezeka na kufikia 17 walioathirika zaidi ni wanafunzi wa chuo kikuu cha Pwani ambapo wanafunzi kumi na wafanyikazi waliaga dunia kadhaa wakijeruhiwa vibaya kwenye barabara kuu ya Naivasha na Kuru. Waziri wa Afya wa Nakuru Jacqueline Osore amekuwa amesema kuwa wametibu wagonjwa sita huku 17 wakiaga dunia manusura wawili walipelekwa kwenye hospitali mbalimbali ikiwemo ile ya rufaa ya Kenyatta na PGH. <tos> Driver anajaribu ku reduce speed inakataa alafu pia ilikuwa mteremko. Eh kinaanza kukuka tu vizuri tuliambiwa kila mmoja wetu make sure wa seat belt na vile tulivyodeliver agizwa tulizingatia. Uh, kwa bahati mbaya ni kama basi yetu brakes zili fail. So the driver ali to inform that guys kila mtu aweke belt ju, ni kama alijua. And then after tumeva alikuwa anangangana ku control anashika anaingia kwa hizo pumps kama ita slow down lakini bado ni kama haiko ina inawezekana out of that uh, accident we received 92 victims to Naivasha hospital where 76 passed through the casualty and unfortunately we lost 16 17 patients currently we have uh, transferred some to Kenyatta, seven to Kenyatta National Hospital for specialized treatment. We have taken two to Nakuru Teaching and Referral Hospital. We have, in Naivasha, we have admitted nine patients and one was referred to Kijabu Hospital. Uh, so far, we have received a lot of people giving blood since morning when the accident occurred. From one, we have been receiving so many patients from Naivasha sub county and its environment and with that, those who have donated their blood from the ministry of transport the cs should ensure he comes up with various measures to ensure the safety of our buses when they transport uh, university students to their destination not just university students but also high schools because what we have seen today could have been avoided if that bus the the, the issue of uh, mechanical failing or rather the brakes if it was well fixed brake pads were installed you know those kind of things then these bus could not have overspeeded and caused that kind of accident tukisaidia katika ajali hiyo makatibu katika wizara ya afya na ile ya elimu wametuma rambirambi zao kwa jamaa na marafiki wa wana